Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck here with Kent and Kelsey. We're up in Hesse's Park reviewing the 2020 GMC Acadia AT4. What do you think? What's the power? It's 310 horsepower to 271 foot-pounds of torque. Cool. What's the transmission? It's got a nine-speed in it, and it floats. Whoa, and it's smooth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we're also going to ask you about this truck. We don't have a trailer on the back because we don't have the towing package. Yeah. We have the receiver, but nothing else, and so we were all excited. But this is one of the first times we've gone without a trailer. So I'm sorry, but anyway, this is a fun truck. We're going up and down to Estes. It's snow and it's colder and I'll get out. My fingers are froze off, but we're going to test it out. And this is a pretty loaded truck, SUV crossover. Yeah. So come join us for the review. Where I <laughs> don't actually kick it, Ken. It's that moment where it's faster to actually hit the button. Yep, okay. Do we kick the button? Here we go. <laughs> There's the button, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, figured it out. It's right here. Oh, there it is. I think the key fob. I think you need the key fob. Okay, Kelsey's back. Hey guys. Yeah. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from nine inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, the crew cab short bed. So, check that window. But this is the 2020 Acadia all-wheel drive AT4. It's kind of like an off-road truck. And we're going to give you all the numbers here in a little bit. This does have a 3.6 V6 and a 9 speed. Isn't that neat? It's 9 smooth. speed. It is smooth. Couldn't get the 10 speed in there, but they got the 9 they speed. That, yeah. <laughs> and this one, the uh, MSRP on this puppy, because you always want to know that, it's 45680 bucks. And this is like a like we talked to Dan. Dan's with us from Mr. Big Truck on this ride. We're running around playing, so he's going to go for a ride with us. Anyway, Dan and I were talking, this is like a crossover, mid-size crossover. But there's a lot of people in this mid-size class. And at 9 speed, that's what's cool is when, when you're driving up the mountain, see if you can feel much shifting. I couldn't feel it the other day where it hardly shifts at all. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't shifting, it was floating. Yeah, it's, so it's kind of neat. And we'll go over the, uh, the AT4, the off-road pack. It just has the 17-inch tires and some really aggressive tires. I'll have Dan talk about that when we get back to the ranch. The team driver, you heard of the team driver program on this? You actually have a special fob, and then if they go a certain speed, it turns off the radio and does a whole bunch of weird stuff. <laughs> so now we're monitoring our teams, okay. Yeah, we're not letting them drive too fast, or if they have two accidents, it records all those things so you know what they've been what up to. What they've been doing. It's all off that special key fob, but well, it it's sounds kind of neat. It's the nanny, it's the nanny yeah. mobile. Well, you know, teenagers, yeah. they, they break the rules a lot. <laughs> so monitoring a teenager in a car, I think is a good idea, but you kind of think it's embedding in your Oh, they're, it's nannying them. It's is, what is it is. That, is it's it's parenting them. Is that it's, good? it's good because it's good? something okay. needs to something needs well, to change. Well, we don't want them to die. Like yeah. I was growing up. But. Yeah, yeah. So my, my sons, when they went to school, they had a lot of friends that get killed in car accidents. Mm -hmm. It was really sad. And a lot of that was on dirt roads where they got too close to the shoulder, and and so somehow they just thought they should pull out of it instead of driving down the ditch. But yeah, that's uh, I, I was so glad that most of my kids were in the country when they learned to drive. I don't know if you're in the country or you in the city. When I was you, in the country. You're in the country. It's a safer place to learn to drive, I think. Yes and no. No, except for when the combines come Bar over hill or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but All anyway. All ditches and everything. Now, the MPG on this on the highway is 25, which is, okay. is pretty normal, pretty good. And it's 21 combined and 18 in the city. Okay. So it's a, it, it is a nice little grocery getter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is Plenty of a lot of people fancy. love this size Good. of vehicle. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, and we're running out of trucks, so we are doing SUVs at this time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> we're just out of stuff. We're on our way to Estes, and it's beautiful up here, and it goes, we got snow, probably three yeah, inches, and it melted. Yeah, it melted this morning. It's a lot more this morning. Is this 
this a different hair color? It looks darker. It's not a different hair color. I got it cut though. Oh. So you probably change colors in the winter, don't you, automatically? Is it? <laughs> when it doesn't see as much oh. sun, it's not as blonde. That's true. I can understand that. Now, this puppy is a jet black. That's the interior. And then the brown. The brown is really cool. It's got a contrasting black and brown. And the brown seats have these black stitching. And, they do. And what's that called? That little rib that goes through the stitches? It's got all that. But that's the Kalahari is the name of the color inside here. This brown. So saying brown, they say Kalahari. And the outside is carbon black metallic. I was going to say gun. Gun metal or gun black. Yeah. Carbon. Yeah, this is metallic. So I guess that's a bullet on it. But five years, 60,000 mile on the powertrain warranty. I like that. Heel descent control. It's got the, you know, the 17 painted aluminum wheels. They are, they are all terrains, which I'm sure the IAT4 packages will come with some different off road things. And I guess we haven't seen any skid plates yet. And I don't know if it's got off road shocks. I didn't see that. Usually there's a listing that breaks down what an AT4 has on it, on the trucks there is, but on this one, they want you to be surprised. It's a Bose premium sound system. Bose always sounds nice. Yeah, they all have to have their own special little brands. But these newer ones, they have all the cool stuff, the automatic emergency braking, the front pedestrian braking. Like I'm saying about this new stuff, you, you have to try hard to have an accident because you know the truck just won't let you do it. Forward collision alert, following distance indicator. And tell it. <laughs> I mean, it's it all good like stuff. It is like the perfect just, parent vehicle to I like know. a kid's drive. Yeah, yeah. Cute little grocery getter. It's wow. safe for the kids. It's that's good. Yeah. The lift gate is cool. You can put your foot underneath it, or you push buttons. Up. And in the door, it has a little knob that will show you like a half open and quarter open and full open. And that's kind of weird, but it also sounds kind of neat. But uh, you know, it's got all the LED lights. This is a good looking machine. I like the way this looks. You know, so many SUVs look alike. And this has like a bold look, you know, and I guess that's the AT4, you want it to look impressive. And there's power outlets and, and uh, USB ports all over the place, even in the back seat, which is nice. So, and I love the remote start, and it's different. Usually, the remote, remote start, you just push it twice, and this one you have to push and hold after you lock the doors. But, you know, now that it's cold in Colorado, the, the uh, automatic or the uh, remote start is very nice. So, how's it handling? Good. I haven't felt it shift. Yeah, I haven't. That's what I was going to say. Mountain. I it have not felt it shift. I'm sure it, it shifted not, because we're going up and down the mountain. It's got but, to, but man, it's just like it smooth. Doesn't feel it. Wow, well, it's got a one in front of the vents. So we know it's made in this country. Okay. And I think you looked that up, Dan. Spring Hill, Tennessee. Is that what it was? Yes, sir. You know, we've got a 22 gallon tank on this thing. On a, just a front wheel drive, it's an 18 or a 19, but an all wheel drive is 22 gallon. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah. At 25 miles a gallon, we could go to Vegas. Yeah, that's an idea. We'll just take off with this puppy. But that's the, the diff, different, the disappointing part is this has a class three receiver. It's a two by two. You take a little plastic plate off, hook up your trailer, and if we would have had this one towing package that Dan looked up, we could have towed 4,000 pounds. And I was all set to do that with, you know, the ATV trailer and the our Gen Y glider hit, yeah, and a side-by-side. -side, and, and then he looked it up without that package, because we didn't have the package. We know we didn't have a brake controller, but I was only pulling 3,000 pounds and under, so we weren't required to. But now, without that package, we only tow 1,000 pounds. And let's see. The cute little U-Haul. Now, uh, what code should they look for if they do want to tow with this vehicle? What is that code, Dan? Well, that would be the V92 code, and that's actually something I found in the owner's manual of this vehicle. Yeah, you read the whole owner's manual. I've never read a whole owner's manual. <laughs> have you, Kelsey? I have not. I have skimmed <laughs> mine when I have needed stuff. Well, Dan's got time on his hands. His semi's broke down, so he's doing a lot of research. But... Oh yeah, that is a GT65, a 9T65 package, and that's 4,000 pounds. And then actually right on the receiver edge, you put 400 pounds, which makes sense. That's 10% of 4,000. That's all you know, SAEJ2807, I think. But it looks like, now look, Dan, you got 2.5 yeah, four-cylinder uh, plus V6. 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder and a 3.6 naturally aspirated V6 both share the same 1,000 pound tow package, whereas 1,500 pounds 
for the 2.0 turbocharged or 4,000 pounds max for the V6 with the V92. Well, that's what I like about turbos. They always give you a little more suit for towing capacity, but... The yep. V6? Yeah. That's... And this is the only way you... 2,500 pounds. Well, yeah, and, and this is the only way you can get the AT4s with the V6. You don't get it in way, so... There you go. The interior's cool. And then what is this thing called? That graphite? What do they call that? Look. You know, that's up there. Uh, uh, that's that carbon, carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. And I don't know if it is carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber all on the interior. And it looks good. I mean, you got brown stitching on black. I like that. And it, uh, it's just... The interior, <laughs> the interior to me, it looks good. You, you like the interior just the way it looks? I could do without the brown. Oh, you don't like the brown? I could do without brown. the brown. It's well, not... we was in some vehicle that was at the Lincoln or something we were into that had similar uh, trim looking brown on black. And I, I but you don't like I like it. But it doesn't well. look bad. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of silly to have black leather seats, but I enjoy mine. In the yeah. summertime, it's nice. Yeah. Or in the wintertime, yeah. it's nice. In the summertime, not so much. Look at the snow. Well, since our outside camera's covering the snow, I guess I'll do the camera inside thing so we can see all these beautiful rocks. Here. Look at those rocks trees. Maybe we'll see some reindeer in here. Santa Claus. Wish we had a moon roof. <laughs> Surprised it doesn't. Yeah, the next level up does. Lex level up also has seat belts for seven. So this one has seats. five. Yeah, this is just two row. So this is five. So this is not, you know, like a Denali. Denali would have a few more options in it. If it just had that towing package, I'd be happy too. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. But anyway, it's as slick as we got all these snow options on here. It's not too and bad. We're not even we're in two-wheel drive now, but we do have a four-wheel drive and a off-road package and a snow package, I think. Went through a bunch of the modes. But uh Yeah, I don't even know where that oh there it is. Maybe I can switch and see what this does. Yeah, that's all wheel drive. drive. Sport mode. Off-road mode. Tow haul mode. See, it's all set up for trader tow haul mode, and we can't even use it. So how does the, the controls can you read? Look at that; it's got a square inch and start, but it's not round. It does it's have square. a square. It's back behind, though. It's yeah, of yeah. Unseeable. You've got to look for it. Yeah. How do you like the wrist? Can you reach the wrist controls? It's got the big knobs. It does have the rubber dash. rubber knobs on the dash. Yeah, I love the knobs. But it looks to me like everything's associated is where you can reach everything that much effort and that's what you got to have. You got to have a good cockpit that is usable. The, the, the push button starts, we'll eventually get used to that, but not yet. It's still, it's still weird to me. Yeah, it is. You know, my, Deeper center my dad's old Mercury station made a push button shifting and that was, and I've seen a lot of Chrysler's back way back when New Yorkers with that. Yeah, it's, it's got a few Power cup station. holders. A little yeah. tiny console. I couldn't get my camera totally in the center console. I was at this point there, but you get all this overhead stuff, of course, like we all do. You just can't find a place to put all the buttons on this Safety fancy buttons. stuff. Yeah. Well, that's a perfect little spot for your sunglasses right there at the end. Oh, yeah. And who in the world wears sunglasses while they drive? I don't understand that. I do. Almost every day. Oh, okay. You get a lot of that glare off the snow, and it's great. Well, I got glaucoma, so I got to have light. I can't have this other stuff. people put on glasses to drive? I don't know. Well, mine are never come off my face. They're like glued on. <laughs> yep, I do like the knobs. I like the controls. That's an 8-inch screen there. That's pretty useful. Of course, in a smaller vehicle, this stuff has to be really close to you. There's no other room. But, you know, having it above you and having it in front of you and off to the side of you, all that makes sense to me. Yes, indeed. That's a tilt the wheel. I don't know if it's a telescope. Yes, there is. Tell right us about that's kind of good to be standing there. Maybe when it wasn't. Yeah, when it wasn't, it was kind of. What's that? When it wasn't, it's kind of a, a necessity you now. Yeah, that's true. And all the drivers in the world seem to all be different sizes, so I'm going to make it in there. And there's that carbon fiber looking trim, which I like. about trailer toy. 
for that big package that this doesn't have for Max Towing. That one does give you like a little bigger radiator and a few other things. And which we get 4,000 pounds, of course, 1,000 pounds. It's like we could have towed with this. It doesn't matter. I just can't. I don't have a trailer that's 1,000 pounds. I have one that's 1,700 pounds. But I guess we could have pulled a wheel bar or something. But anyway, yeah. That, uh, so if you are buying one of these and do plan on towing your boat or your... Like brake trailer, or yeah, you know, like mine. If we had the side by side on my ATV trailer, it would be 3,000 pounds. Then you can do that. And then, if you get, of course, 3,000 pounds above, you're supposed to have your trailer brake, so you got to put a trailer brake on for that. But I think this would do well with a small little camper, a small, you know, ATV trailer, a lot of things that you would do with a family. So, and this is an AT4, so you could do a little bit of off roading. I don't think, I mean, the ground clearance on this. 7.2 inches of ground clearance, so you couldn't do a whole lot of rock climbing. But this is like, you can call it a mild off-roader. And, you know, most people do. They drive these in the city to work, and then they can get through the summer snow. And this has got some pretty aggressive tires. When we get back to the Hacienda, we will talk about the tires and show you the tread on them, because it's, it's actually good. That's one of the better things about this package, is what they do when they change out the tires. But, now we're coming down the mountain. So today's run, we got about 19.4. And at uh, an average speed of 23. We are up in the mountain. Sometimes we're driving 40, sometimes 50. But that uh, gives us an overall average of 19.4 in real world testing. What's it like climbing in the front seat of this off-road Acadia? Cool. So obviously, seat goes back and moves. Yeah, and everything looks like it's close and easy to get to. Close. Just, you just don't like the color of the seats, huh? Yeah, well, it's just... It'll grow on you. It'll grow on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. It's one of the combinations I think is cool. It's got the carbon fiber everywhere. It's yeah, it's it looks cool. Tilt and telescope. Where the heck is that? Yeah, well, it's underneath and kind of to the left. Underneath. Look, there you go. Got it. Yeah, see, it's, it's all convenient. Yeah. Yep, tilt and telescope. There you go. Okay, let's see what the back seat fits you. And then we're gonna put Dan back there and see how he fits in the seat. See, there's a contrast between the two of you. See how much leg room you have. That's now that seat, I don't think, the, yeah, the front seat goes forward, but I don't mm -hmm. think this seat slides. I see where it folds, it which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that looks I good. I consider that a couple. But yeah, it's got a lot of USB ports. Hold down center. Oh yeah, that's cool. There's your cup there holders. you go. You gotta have those cup holders. Okay, now show me the back behind the seat for cargo. See if you can fold that puppy forward. It folds in half or folds just. It made it slide on a track. And that's how you get back there. Oh, it folds flat too. Oh, that's good. That's nice always good. Floor. Get all your cool stuff, and it's got tie downs back there. Like they're almost like an e track. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, fold it up, and let's see if Dan can jump in there. In the same position. Okay. Now her seat's a little bit forward because she's a little on the short side. Okay, well, this is like Uncle Buck girls. fitting in the car here. We got old Uncle Buck Dan. I got a really, Holy cow, look at I that. Fit you got really leg. nice. I got yes. tons of room. Tons of I room. I really like nice that. inside the holsters, and I'm a big guy. But even so, I can still fit with the center console down. It's up against my body, but there's still plenty of room to sit in here comfortably. Well, that's cool. I like that. That's good. Good job. Okay, climb out. You can stay in. Now, let's let's look in the back just for fun. We threw all the trash back there, but let's see what's open that back hatch and see what's there. We gotta lock it. <laughs> kick, kick and go, kick and go. It's like Hollywood dancing here, or Vegas dancing. <laughs> cool. We got so quite a bit of room. Look at all the stuff we got I going on get here. I'm gonna seats down if I want to load stuff in from the back here, but I don't want to go up front. There should be some latches on that side right there. Oh, you know back a little further. Back a little further. There okay. you go. Right latches. there. Oh, look at that. That is so right, cool. Something in the seat. Do they come back up too or not? Nope, they don't come back up. Okay. It's just gonna have to be manual. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Okay. What's underneath that front? flap. Oh, what would you look oh, at that? Look There's... at that. Holy cow, you flip that up and you got all kinds of storage. Think about how much beer you can put in there. I mean, think how much milk you can put in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's cool. That's styrofoam too. That's Actually handy. has some kind of an insulating, uh, insulating property. Awesome. Okay, Dan, I know you showed us how you fit in the back seat. And tell me what you think about it. I thought the bolsters were taller than that. I like it 
when it bolsters a little bit down like that, so it doesn't pinch you like it is on the RAV4 I drove last week. But go ahead and tell, tell me what you think of that seat. Well, for a back seat now, this is a mid-size crossover. And I'm a kind of a bigger guy, and sitting in there, the bolsters, they kind of hug you, kind of hold you really nice and tight. You still got move, room to kind of move around a little bit here and there to, if you yeah. have to reach for something, but. Well, that's cool. I like these seats, too. I like the color. I know Kelsey's not wild about these colors, but I like them. Well, the, the, that's the, nice. Yeah, that, there's a lot of cushion in there, and it's actually very comfortable, even for someone uh, as big as I am. Well, you're a heavy-duty reporter. Absolutely. Okay, Dan. What kind of tire is this? This is with the AT4 GMC Acadia. And what's special about the uh, the uh, all-terrain tire? Well, one of the things that's very important on any vehicle, especially if you're gonna go off-road, is to make sure that you have a very good quality tire. Now this on here, we've got a Continental ter uh, Terrain Contact AT. And as you see in here, you got all these little grooves right here to grip down nice and deep. All of the nice siping, everything else to get the water evacuated, really big lugs, big voids, gets mud, rocks, anything that's going to come in there, it's going to evacuate it really quick, keep it clean, keep that nice contact on the ground so that you can keep digging to keep going forward so you don't get stuck. Well, that's cool. That's big in Colorado. We need something that goes through tires and lots of times mud. Now, okay, Dan, tell me all about the back here. Since it doesn't have a third row seat, it just has a lot of storage area? or what? Absolutely. I like those tracks. Absolutely. There's going to be a lot of ability to keep all your cargo tied down, which if you're bouncing off-road is really going to be uh, helpful. But let's say you get a, a flat tire. Where do they hide the spare tire? Well, <laughs> if you lift up this thing here, look at all this great storage. But... It's underneath here. They hide it very well. There are these two little screws. You undo them with your hand real quick. That undoes this uh, retaining strip right here for this. Get that undone. All right, that's undone. You move these forward. These two things here, that comes undone. That goes forward. This, this oh, out of here. Out. Wow. Just so. Oh, and bada bing, bada is. boom, baby. We found there the spare go. tire. Cool. Kelsey and I will be in Seaman, what, two weeks? Two weeks. Awesome. Yeah. She'll be doing a bunch of interviews. We'll be trying to find all the new and cool stuff. We're going to talk to those CA conversion people about those uh, Allison, Allison conversions again. Yeah. That will be fun. And you're a diesel girl, man. You got, what, 10 diesels there in the yard? Too many. Way too many. <laughs> yeah. So, there should be some good stories coming out of Seaman. Of course, we'll see the new Gen Y hitches. And then uh, Way Hitch has a new weight distributing system on their scale hitch. Which should be very interesting. I'll be getting one of those probably in December to test. And there's always so much going on in SEMA. Are you happy? You got, you got a live camera? <laughs> He's already back Are there you laughing on? at us. We're on. You got to do that kicking motion. Where at? <laughs> Don't actually kick it, Ken. It's that moment where it's faster to actually hit the button. Yep, okay. Can we kick the button? Here we go. There's the button, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, my fingers are about 